I'm into Sarah Jessica Parker nasty, just got laid hair. In fact, we have to say that this hair was inspired. Style it was inspired and is dedicated to SJP. So I've had a bunch of tweets. People want to know how I did my hair for the finale. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I did it. That's so nice of you. It's a little like this. So this tool and this tool. <laughs> start at the base. Okay? It's very important to keep that iron all the way to the base and leave the iron alone and just wrap the hair around it. And be careful because you can burn your fingers. Guess what it came with? A glove. A glove. Do you want to know what this glove does? Keeps you from getting burnt. Take your section. Spray it out. Start at the base. Wrap get it around. For them. And I think it is easier to kind of hold the iron up. And in that angle. Yeah, it kind of keeps the hair from... Sometimes when you go like this, it doesn't get the whole... Sort of, and that's I've the got way. really long hair right now. Yeah. It's not real. Don't get me wrong. But it's long. I want to show them. I, I don't know about you guys, but she's already rocking my world. So you want to make sure you really get kind of the mid-shaft of the iron in there. Get that. See? And pull it down because you want that right there. If you don't have that right there, it looks like really like lazy, like you didn't really try. And I had to learn that the hard way and I'm just happy to say that I can, can stand in front of you and admit my faults. I got lazy. It's disappointing, I know. Secret weapon is Red King Slush! Just spraying, and I want it to look nasty, so I'm totally like, I don't even care. I'm just like, you know, <laughs> spraying. Wanted to look nasty. I kind of almost wanted so to look funny. like a little bit of a, you know, dreadlocky. But it gives you that texture that you really can't get unless it's like three days old. Mm -hmm. I'm still spraying. Go like this, and guess what I'm gonna do? What? Go to bed. I'm and gonna sleep on this tomorrow. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna look freaking amazing. And she might spray again. Let's <laughs> spray. But oh, in, in all honesty, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> in all honesty, you also want to add some shine. So I'm adding a little Moroccan oil spray. Also rocks our world. Mm -hmm. And I'm just spraying through the ends. You gotta be careful with this because it really gets like. You can't spray a lot with yeah. this. Like on my texture of hair, one or two sprays, that's it. Max. 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 So I'm just touching up around the face. Okay. Guess what? Now I'm going to bed. So good night. We'll talk tomorrow. Peace. Okay, I just woke up. And I did my makeup. I haven't touched my hair. This is how it looks today. Slept on. So I'm going to introduce you to three amazing products that will change your life. First and foremost, Big Sexy Hair Volumizing Dry Shampoo. A little bit more of the Redken Wool Shake. And then the Moroccan Oil that I used last night too. So basically what I'm going to do is take the uh, Volumizing Dry Shampoo and, and uh, do it through my roots. Put the wool through the like mid shaft and then spray shine through it. Okay, so I just did the dry shampoo. I literally took sections like this and then sprayed it uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six, like all throughout the crown. And I like this because it gives it um, volume and it just gives it kind of a matted texture to my hair that I like. Okay, so I just sprayed more of the wool, the Redken wool into my hair. And I really love the way this stuff smells, so it's nice to like to do it first thing in the morning, you know? And now I'm just going to do like a little bit of shine. So hold on. Okay. That's it. And I'm on my merry way. And throughout the day, I'll probably go like this a little and kind of mat it up. <laughs> but I kind of like to keep the top, you know, not too big. But that's pretty much how I did my hair. Hope you like it.